So everybody, my name is Chris Braver, and uh, I work for 888 VoIP. I'm an account executive. Um, today, we're, we're talking about really Wi-Fi 6 and the solutions that are out there if your customers are deploying Wi-Fi 6. Um, needlessly to say, if you've been a Wi-Fi 5 guy, whew, aren't we glad that's over? Anyway, um, speaking of which, so with Wi-Fi 6, there are some definitive solutions out there. Grandstream has a wonderful portfolio um, of solutions. So we've got two folks with us today. Phil Bowers, he's the marketing director um, over at Grandstream. He'll be presenting. And for uh, any technical questions, we have Hugh Wynn. He is that resource, and he'll be lending his expertise in the Q&A. So uh, with that, Phil, um, thank you very much for taking time. Thanks for having us. Very excited to be here. Always excited to join up with our longtime friends and partners at 888 VoIP, uh, especially on such an exciting topic as we got here today. So um, officially for me, want to welcome everybody. Thanks for having us. Um, again, my name is Phil Bowers. I'm the director of marketing here at Grandstream. Hugh Wynn, our technical support director, is hanging out in the chat. Uh, so feel free to throw any questions that you might have that come up during the webinar through the chat, Hugh's there to answer. Um, and we'll do a little period at the end where I'll, uh, I'll ask you to kind of go through any of the more common or more popular questions that may have come in. Uh, but to get us right into the topic, as you can see, and, and as you heard, we are here really to talk about Wi-Fi 6 solutions. Um, Grandstream, as you hopefully know, maybe you don't, uh, we have had we basically expanded into the Wi-Fi and networking solutions product category about five years ago with our GWN series of Wi-Fi access points. We're now at about the third generation of that. And as you can see, and as we're gonna talk about a lot today, really our focus this year is developing and releasing a whole wide variety of Wi-Fi 6 solutions um, to help you build networks for yourselves and for your customers. Um, and we're going to talk a lot about access points and, and management systems and whatnot. Uh, but towards the end of the webinar, I will give you a sneak peek at some really cool and really exciting new solutions coming from us this year. A lot of those are in brand new product categories for Grandstream within the Wi-Fi solutions industry. So without further ado, let's jump into our topic here today. Um, and we're gonna just start out here real quickly by again, introducing you or reminding you about our GWN series of Wi-Fi access points. As you probably know, or hopefully know, one of the great things about us here at Grandstream is that we are one of, if not the only company that provides everything you're gonna need to uh, put together complete business communication solutions. Obviously, we're really best known for our, our IP phones and our VoIP offerings, uh, but we also have all the networking solutions we're going to talk about here today, facility access, voice and video conferencing, um, cloud management, and a whole bunch of pretty much everything you're going to need, every technology you're going to need. Uh, for business communication solution, including this wide, this huge portfolio of GWN series networking solutions. To give you an idea of this category, this has become over the last two years, our fastest growing product line that is both within North America and that is worldwide. Um, the One of the great things about our GWN series, as we'll talk about, is a large portfolio, a whole bunch of different access points and management systems. And our management systems are free. That's one of the great things that we offer both we have cloud, we have on-premise, and we have embedded. We'll go through this in a while. Um, and obviously, because we're really focusing on the GWN series here today, um, as, as you see there, this is basically our biggest area of growth. This is what we are investing a lot of our time, resources, product development into. Um, and you're going to see a lot of great new solutions from us, not only this year. Uh, you've seen some of them already this year, but also in the years to come. Um, so just to give you an overview of our GWN series and kind of why it stands out and why it's become such a popular product and such a great seller for us, um, I think this slide really kind of covers all the major points. I, I just mentioned the three free management options. We have a fully functioning enterprise level cloud man or cloud Wi-Fi management platform. GWN Cloud, it is fully free. There is 
I believe there's no limit. There's virtually no limit. The limit might be like 3 million access points or something that probably no one's really going to reach anyway. Has a great mobile app that makes everything easy to install. Just gives you that centralized uh, enterprise level Wi-Fi management platform. And again, it's free. If you would prefer all of that functionality, but on an uh, client software client we have gwn manager also fully free runs on a pc on your network the other great thing about um our access points is all of them have controller functionality built right into the device the web user interface for all of our access points has a built-in controller uh, that you can use to set up and manage networks of either 30 or 50 other grandstream access points the 30 or 50 depends on which model you're using so three free management options that pretty much cover the full spectrum of what you might need or want. Super easy installation, especially if you're using GWN Cloud, just scan the barcode from your GWN Cloud app right on the back and it will add it directly into your GWN Cloud network. We have, as I'm just about to tell you in a couple minutes here, a very large portfolio of powerful access points, indoor, outdoor, long range, pretty much anything you need, we have covered. Um, and in addition to all of that, we also offer great built-in real-time monitoring alerts and reports. This is available through all of our access points, through all of the management options, uh, through the web user interface on the access points or through GWN Cloud or GWN Manager on the networking side. Basically just gives you the ability to always know what's going on with your network, to have built-in maintenance and troubleshooting in case something does happen, to receive con uh, regular alerts and reports and really just be able to just go in and see what's going on at any point in time. So that is the overview of our GWN series. Getting more into the specific access points, like I mentioned, we've got a huge portfolio, a growing portfolio is what I should say, of Wi-Fi access points. This slide that you see right here is our indoor access points, and that pretty much just means that they're not built with weatherproof casing. So they're mainly used to be used, mainly created, excuse me, to be used inside. Uh, the four devices there on the left are all Wi-Fi five access points, uh, ranging from our 7602, which is a great little home office router, or excuse me, home office access point, um, which actually is what I am using here in my office, um, all the way up to the GWN7630. And as you can tell, you know, or would expect the, you know, the, the, the specs, the capacity pretty much increases as you go. Um, and at the end of last year, we began to introduce our first set of Wi-Fi 6 access points. The GWN7660 and the GWN7664. And I'm going to go into a lot more details on these devices. All the specs kind of differentiate them for you. Um, but if you are looking for indoor uh, Wi Fi 6 access points, we have the GWN7660 and the GWN7664. Kind of an easy way to think about those two. And I'll go into more detail again in a couple of minutes. The 7660 is pretty much the, the mid tier. Um, Offering in the 7664 there would be um, high capacity, supports up to 750 clients. We'll go through that more in a couple of minutes. So those are our current portfolio of indoor access points. We also have long range and outdoor access points. All three of the APs you see here are made with weatherproof certified casing, allowing them to be used outside. As you can see from the external antennas they have, they're also made for long range. So that could be both inside and outside. Um, two different Wi-Fi 5 uh, APs here for long range, 7605 and the 7630. Um, and we recently introduced, just a couple of weeks ago, our GWN 7660LR. That is our first Wi-Fi 6 uh, long range access point. There is another uh, Wi-Fi 6 long range access point coming very soon, which I will tell you about in a moment. So that is a quick overview of our portfolio of access points. So now to kind of transition it in and to talk more specifically about Wi-Fi 6, um, every, just to give you a, a, you know, a heads up on this, everything that we're going to release, every Wi-Fi 6 product we're going to release, whether it's going to be an access point, a router, or some other new product that I'll tell you about later on in the webinar, all of our Wi-Fi 6 products 
are and will be Wi-Fi 6 certified. This is a process that is put on and covered by the Wi-Fi Alliance, which I'll cover on the next slide. Wi-Fi Alliance, basically an independent organization of manufacturers that strives to create common and easy to use Wi-Fi standards through the whole industry um, to get our devices or any devices uh, certified by the Wi-Fi Alliance to be able to use this Wi-Fi 6 certified logo that you see here on the screen and that you're going to see on a lot of the other slides here today have to go quite rigorous testing that is both independent testing joint testing uh, as well um, and obviously you know the certification just means that the product has tested all of the Wi-Fi alliances testing and requirements for a Wi-Fi 6 access point so not only are all of our devices Wi-Fi officially Wi-Fi 6 certified but we are very excited to become an official member partner of the Wi-Fi Alliance. Like I mentioned just a moment ago, this Wi-Fi Alliance is a worldwide independent network of mostly manufacturers, some service providers um, that basically deliver and bring Wi-Fi solutions to the market. And the whole Alliance is set up to drive global Wi-Fi adoption and evolution uh, through thought leadership, through maintenance or maintaining, creating um, spectrum advocacy, tech technical features, um, industry standards, technology standards, technology protocols, industry-wide collaboration, whatnot. So not only are all of our devices certified by the Wi-Fi Alliance, but we are very happy beginning this year to become or to be an official member of the Wi-Fi Alliance. Definitely encourage you to look up more on the Wi-Fi Alliance, pretty cool organization. So before we get into kind of the nitty gritty of these Wi-Fi 6 APs and other solutions that were uh, rolling out this year and that have some have already been rolled out, do want to let you know, as you may have noticed through some of the promotions, that we are giving away some GWN series access points here today uh, to webinar attendees. Um, all of you here in attendance are eligible to receive a free GWN series access point. This is based on qualification. Exclusions do apply. Not everybody is going to qualify, uh, but you will be contacted by an 888 VoIP salesperson or the 888 VoIP team uh, with after the webinar, probably within the next couple of days if you do qualify. So um, just wanted to mention that. Nice little thank you to all of you that uh, took some busy time out of your schedules here today. Um, keep an eye out for an email from 88 VoIP. 888 VoIP and the team about this really cool promotion that we are running as part of today's webinar. All right, so Wi-Fi 6, I would imagine that most of you all here have, you know, a very good understanding of what it is and why it's so great and what advantages it offers and, you know, really where the whole Wi-Fi industry is going. Um, but just to take a step back for, for those that might be new to it, you know, Wi-Fi 6, again, it's just the, it's the, the latest and greatest generation of Wi-Fi technology. Um, wi and, and really what it is made to do is to support and to optimize networks where many devices are connected. Just to give a little background on it, Wi-Fi 5 was for the most part created before the smart office, smart home environments that we live in now where everyone has multiple devices, where light bulbs, where HVAC systems uh, are all running off of um, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 6, were, as Wi-Fi 5 was not really made to handle that capacity in all those devices, it's exactly what Wi-Fi 6 was created for, so that networks could have many different devices connected to the network all at the same time while improving latency and security. So this is a pretty good visual, I always think, to give you an idea of how Wi-Fi 6 works compared to what it was previously. Previously, the devices were made to send pretty much all of the packets of information that they were exchanging with devices all out in one feed so that could be uh, or in one packet so that could be you know a lot of different information let's go into multiple devices in one packet whereas wi-fi 6 breaks it up into individual basically into individual packets and sends that information specifically to the device looking for it 
on its own without anything. It just allows the network and the devices in the technology to handle more devices, to handle more information, and to do so much quicker. Um, BSS coloring, another great addition to Wi-Fi 6 that wasn't fully available in Wi-Fi 5, gives the access points on the network the ability to basically understand who's connected to what, where people are, and who then uh, prioritize its efforts and to send information and to route clients that might be roaming to the appropriate uh, access point rather than to just the next one that it might be close to. So to get into the more specifics of our Wi-Fi 6 access points is what we're going to start off with here. Uh, we've got the GWN7660 that was launched, I believe, in December of last year. Uh, so it's been out for just about five or six months now. And then the GWN7664 on the right, which we announced, I believe, just in February. Um, we also have something, uh, our first Wi-Fi 6 long-range access point that we launched uh, back in February as well, the GWN 7660LR. So I'm going to break these three access points down for you. Uh, we're going to go through some of our management options, and I'm going to give you an idea of what else is coming, new product categories, some of them that I think many of you will be very excited about uh, for stuff that you can keep an eye out for coming soon. Uh, so let's go through those three Wi-Fi 6 access points. Start with the 7660. Uh, again, this device was launched in uh, December of last year. Um, before I get into it, I think that the easy way to remember the 7660 versus the 7664, like I said earlier, the 7660 is probably your mid-tier access point, whereas the 7664 is your high-end access point, and, and you'll see why as I go. Um, so the 7660 has the 2x2 two two, uh, multi-user MIMO built in, basically means has two internal antennas that are sending and receiving um, data all at the same time, supports up to 1.77 gigabits per second, 175 meter range, which you'll see is pretty standard on our indoor access points, 175 meters. Uh, this device supports 256 concurrent clients, whereas the 7664 that I will tell you about next supports up to 750. So that's really one of the major differences, speed supported being the other difference. Um, advanced QoS, that is standard in all of our access points, allows the access points uh, really to just ensure that real-time performance of low latency applications, gives you the ability to uh, use and manage that QoS to prioritize pretty much, you know, whatever you want to prioritize uh, through your network. Uh, enterprise grade security features. I'll go through this a little bit later on. And again, the three free management options. So 7660, the first Wi-Fi 6 access point in our portfolio. Again, kind of say it a mid-tier, uh, good small to medium-sized business access point, 1.77 gigs per second, 175 meter range, 256 concurrent clients. As you would imagine, like all of our access points, does offer dual band Wi-Fi, again, 802.11.ax because it is Wi-Fi uh, 6. 2.4 gigs on the, uh, excuse me, 573.5 megs on the 2.4 gigahertz band, and uh, what is that, 1.2 gigabytes, or 1,201 megabytes on the 5 gigahertz band. Um, and again, 256 concurrent clients here on the GWN7660. Again, this device was launched back in December of last year, uh, was our first Wi-Fi 6 access point. So here's the GWN7664, launched in February of this year, became our second Wi-Fi 6 access point. Um, and again, this is really, this is the high end of our access point portfolio. This device right here supports 3.55 gigabits per second. That is uh, the most that we support within any of our Wi-Fi access points. Supports 750 concurrent clients. That's not a typo, 750 concurrent clients. Uh, again, also the most within our series of access points. Uh, this device, because it does support the 3.55 gigs per second, actually has two different network ports, a 2.5 gig port and a one gig port, which is very interesting to note. And I'm gonna touch on this again in just a moment. 
because there are almost no other similar access points on the network that offer a 2.5 gig port and kind of leads you to believe that some of these other access points might not theoretically be able to actually support the amount of speed that they are saying they support. We'll get into that more in a second. Again, 175 meter range, pretty standard, or which is standard for all of our indoor access points. The advanced QoS, the three management options. Uh, but again, this is the highest end access point within our portfolio, 3.55 gigs per second, four, uh, four by four multi-user MIMO, so the four internal antennas, which is double what the 7660 gets. And again, those the 750 clients and the two different network ports, one of them being 2.5 gigs um again we pretty much can fly through this dual band like you would expect uh one of the interesting things about this device which i'm actually just going to go to the next slide because i believe it covers it uh nope it covers it on the next slide that's a typo it should be 750 concurrent clients um so here's what i'm looking for so this is again this is our highest end access point um and obviously Wi-Fi 6. And here's an interesting little comparison chart that we put together, comparing it to two of Unify Ubiquiti's most popular, currently most popular indoor Wi-Fi 6 access points, the U6LR and the U6 Pro. And you can see just from looking at this chart, there are a number of advantages that we offer compared to both of these guys. I'm just gonna go through this real quickly. The first one is that we support dual band Wi-Fi on both bands, or, well, obviously, because it's dual band Wi-Fi. So I said that wrong. We support dual band Wi-Fi, um, whereas the Unify U6LR only gives you, well, sorry, I'm stumbling over my words here. I'm gonna take a step back. The GWN 7664 supports dual band Wi-Fi 6. That's what I was trying to say. Whereas the Unify U6LR only supports Wi-Fi 6 on the five gigahertz band, which means you don't get it on the 2.4 gigahertz band. We support 750 concurrent clients, more than double what either of those guys support. Here's what I was talking about earlier. We give you, again, because we support 3.55 gigs per second. There is a, a 2.5 gig port and a one gig port. Whereas both of these other devices only have a one gig port, which pretty much would lead you to believe that they're going to have bandwidth and traffic issues when they actually try to use the access point for the full amount they support, which is either three gigs or 5.3 gigs. So the, you know, that extra, the, the lack of ports and only having one gig port is a little concerning. Again, we add uh, 2.5 gig port for that reason. We support double the 2.4 gigahertz throughput compared to both of these access points. Um, it's four by four multi-user MIMO on both bands, whereas the U6 Pro, as you see over there on the right, only gives you that on the five gigahertz band. Um, another thing which I mentioned earlier, uh, which is a huge advantage that we offer and something that we've really tried, we've put a lot of purpose and intent into this. Um, is the wireless security that we offer. We're gonna offer the same thing, uh, the standard Wi-Fi um, security that you're used to from other manufacturers, WPA, PSK, WPA2, WPA3, all that. Uh, but we're gonna add a whole bunch of other functionality into it. Anti-hacking secure boot and critical data control lockdown via digital signatures. This basically, gives our devices the ability to sense security issues and to, depending on what the security issue is, actually lock down the control of the device or lock down the device entirely. We offer unique security certificates on all of our access points. That means every different access point that you install will have a different uh, security, excuse me, well, I'm explaining this wrong, different random default password. That's what I'm looking for. Um, we'll also have a different unique security certificate. Basically, that just means that that protects all the other access points on the network in case uh, one is compromised, but also obviously has that built in, uh, all these built-in protection to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, more SSIDs and obviously the, the free management as we keep talking about. Yeah. yeah. Quick question. Um, sure. Any chance of the GWN supporting PoE pass through for daisy chaining in multiple devices? That's a good question. I think Hugh can probably answer that better than I can. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, currently, the only model that supports uh, PoE output on its uh, additional Ethernet ports would be our GWN7602. Uh, the others do not yet. Uh, we, we do have uh, an upcoming uh, model, the GWN7624, that also supports uh, two times uh, PoE output ports. Um, so that would be coming up. Um, on these particular access points that we have now, um, you know, being that the ranges are so far, uh, you know, 250 meters on what you see on the screen, uh, typically the longest ethernet run that you would probably want to have is uh, 100 meters. That would far exceed uh, those lengths for days of training. However, um, you know, as mentioned, uh, we do have that upcoming model as well as our GWN 7602 now that supports it. Yeah, that's a that's a great question. And Hugh, I'm actually glad you touched on that. Was it the 7624 that does have that built in? Because I actually don't think I was planning to cover that in the coming soon. But that is just because, yeah. So that that's a great thing to mention. And I'll bring that, remind you, or remind everyone of that point when we get to the upcoming product section, which is just in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, so just to keep going and actually beginning to wrap up here before we get into that sneak peek and uh, kind of a heads up on some of the stuff you're going to see coming soon. Uh, this is the 7660LR. Again, this is our first long range Wi-Fi 6 access point, 1.77 gigs per second, 250 meters versus 175 meters on the other guys. Um, so just because, and this is built with IP66 certified weatherproof casing. Just because it's met or built with weatherproof casing doesn't mean you can't use it inside. This could be a potentially really good option for a warehouse or a larger, maybe more open indoor space as well. Uh, so again, Wi-Fi 6 long range access point, GWN 7660LR. Um, we also, as, as I'll show you about, actually I'll get there in a second. Um, as you can see, or maybe can kind of tell from looking at the specs, this device really, except for the range, is, is very similar to the 7660, the regular 7660, um, in terms of the speed that it offers, in terms of the clients that it supports. Um, so you can, you can see some similarities there with the name. Um, and this is the, you know, long range weatherproof outdoor version. Um, just like all the other ones and and you know obviously standard feature anymore dual band wi-fi uh, 1.77 gigs per second on this long range wi-fi 6 access point two by two multi-user mimo just like the 7660 so it's got those two internal antennas to send and receive uh 256 concurrent clients again same as the gwn 7660 Obviously, again, this one is a long range outdoor weatherproof version of that. All right, so those are our three currently available uh, Wi Fi 6 access points. I've touched on the management options, so I can, I'm just going to fly through this pretty quickly because we went into detail on it a little later. But again, just to kind of remind everyone, one of the gr best things that we offer through our networking portfolio are the three free management options an embedded option built into the uh, user interface of any of the access points, a cloud option, GWN Cloud, which you can go and sign up for for free. The URL is gwn.cloud. No limit on the amount of uh, access points you can connect to it. Gives you a centralized cloud-based platform that also has a mobile app, and that mobile app is great for adding access points by just scanning the barcode. And we also have GWN Manager, which is pretty much all of the same functionality of GWN Cloud. It's just on a uh, localized software client that you can put on a PC on your network. Uh, again, that all of these options are fully free. Uh, GWN Manager supports up to 3,000 access points. Again, that is really made for the, what is it, the client server architecture, local server deployment. There you go. Uh, whereas the cloud is a great option to be used in multiple locations or if you have more than 3,000 access points. All right, so to wrap us up here, I'm going to go through some pretty exciting stuff that is in the roadmap. Uh, some of this is in the near future, within the next couple of months. Some of it is in more, maybe a little bit more of the longer term future um, towards the end of the year. But really what you're going to see here is, is um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the GWN series, Wi-Fi networking, uh, networking solutions in general, 
really has become our greatest area of focus and growth within Grandstream. Um, and so what you're going to see here is that we're, you know, we're putting our money where our mouth is. We're, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. There's a lot in development. Um, and we're really striving to, you know, make our current Wi-Fi 6 offering uh, even better and even larger and to allow Grandstream to be your one-stop shop for networking solutions, not just access points, not just management systems, but routers, P2P devices, PoE switches. I just gave some of it away, so let's just keep going here. Um, so I mentioned, I actually, no, I didn't. I almost mentioned this earlier. Uh, within the next couple of months, I think within the next month specifically, you can keep an eye out for the release of our next long range Wi-Fi 6 access point uh, outdoor long range. This is the 7664 LR. This will have uh, be very similar to the 7664 in that this device will be the highest end long range outdoor Wi-Fi access point that we have. Um, should be able to support same uh, number of clients, 750, 3.5 gigs per second, and then to add those four antennas uh, to make it perform even better and faster uh, outside or long range. So that's the 7664LR, should be available within the next month or so. Uh, we're also within, I think, probably the next two to three months, potentially even uh, sooner than that, we'll begin releasing a series of routers. There's, uh, I believe, three or four different routers that we have currently uh, being developed. There are two that are set to come out here within the next couple of months. One will be Wi-Fi 5, one will be Wi-Fi 6. Um, but you know, we're really excited about kind of the, the new look and form factor to these routers. Um, you know, we've had one specific router that's been in our portfolio for a little while. So we're excited to, you know, update that uh, with these two new devices that you'll see within the next couple of months. Again, one of these will be Wi-Fi 5 and one of these will be Wi-Fi 6. And there are a couple other ones in development that you'll probably see later on in the year or early next year. Moving along, this is something that we are really excited about and has been something that we've spent a lot of time discussing uh, internally, our P2P or P2MP, point to point, point to point to multi point solutions. This is obviously, you know, a brand new product category for us. Um, these solutions giving us or giving you and your customers the ability to have Wi Fi solutions, networks that are spread out be, or connected and spread out between buildings that might be, you know, miles apart. I believe one of these devices has a range of up to 20 kilometers, which I think is 13 miles, something like that. Um, so great option. There's a whole, you know, a whole bunch of different deployment scenarios, really popular with service providers, uh, really popular with big enterprises, lots of different niche industries that these are heavily in demand on right now. Uh, so these de devices are point to point and point to multi-point devices. Uh, which will be Wi-Fi 6 certified. I, we are targeting for around the summertime, late summertime uh, for this year. So keep an eye out for that. Wouldn't shock me if within the next couple of months we start doing uh, pre-launch beta tests and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in getting your hands on these before they come out, keep an eye out for that beta test because that could be a really good option to do so. So point to point, point to multi-point, brand new addition and expansion of our networking solutions category coming later this year. Um, last, another thing that I'm going to touch on here, and you can see I have no pictures for it because, you know, they're they're still in development. We are finally coming out with PoE switches. This is something that has been in demand that we've been hearing from our partners, from our resellers, from our customers for quite a while. Like I talked about earlier, currently you're able to get pretty much everything you need to build a solution, uh, any communication solution from Grandstream, with the exception of PoE switches. And especially as we you know, expand and focus more on our networking solutions, PoE switches are a must. Uh, these are currently in development. You can expect to see these probably late in the year. I'm gonna say Q4, so say between October and December, if not into next year. We're hoping to pull these up, but we're, you know, keep, keep, we'll, we'll keep in touch with you on that. 
Um, and I'm sure you'll hear quite a bit about these before they come out. So just a little tease there. You can see, you'll see some PoE switches from us by the end of the year. Uh, all right, so last couple of slides here as we begin to wrap up, I should be able to wrap up here within the next three to five minutes. Um, as we kind of wrap up here, uh, obviously we talked a lot about networking and Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6 here today. Um, one of the great things, and I keep talking about all the solutions and Grandstream being a one-stop shop, we also offer everything you need to turn that networking solution into a communication uh, solution or a voice network or a voice and a video network. Um, and you know, most notably here, um, in terms of upcoming products for this this year. Um, hopefully you guys are familiar with our WP series of cordless Wi-Fi phones, specifically the WP810. Definitely take a look at that. Um, we have these two new devices that you should be able to see released here within the next two to three months. Uh, the guy on the left is actually a rug ruggedized drop safe cordless Wi-Fi phone. So think for medical for uh, warehouses whatnot and then your uh, the guy on the right um, which will be called the wpa 22 uh, pretty standard or standard's not the right word but uh, non basically just non-ruggedized but gives you the cordless wi-fi telephony as i'll show you i think on the next screen we also have in addition to these cordless wi-fi finds a whole phones excuse me a whole bunch of other wi-fi compatible voice and video endpoints that can work with your um, Wi-Fi networks as well. Uh, so keep an eye out for these two guys, which should be coming out here within the next two to three months. Again, this will be uh, the second, or excuse me, the third and the fourth cordless Wi-Fi phones in our portfolio. And as we begin to wrap up here, and I believe if I'm not wrong, I think actually there's one more slide just talking about the uh, the AP giveaway here today. Um, but again, just to wrap us up, we, we obviously spent the whole webinar talking about Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi networking solutions, access points, routers, all that. Um, and like I mentioned a minute ago, in addition to those cordless Wi-Fi phones, we offer pretty much a, a whole wide variety of other Wi-Fi compatible um, voice and video communication solutions. We have customers all over the world, especially in North America, who, and especially really after COVID, have moved to these wireless-based communication solutions in their offices. It gives them more freedom. It gives them more flexibility to have employees pretty much move around and work from anywhere. And all you got to do is connect the endpoint to a Wi-Fi network. Makes managing an entire communications network a lot easier, too. Uh, you won't have two networks now. You'll have one main Wi-Fi network that you're also using for um, for your communications. Cuts out all of that, you know, wa uh, wiring, which is both time-consuming and also often the source of network problems. So whether you're looking for video phones, whether you're looking for traditional desktop phones, um, whether you're looking for uh, intercom and public address functionality whether you're looking for video conferencing, we have uh, Wi-Fi compatible endpoints for all of that. Um, so definitely, you know, the GRP series, our flagship series of desktop IP phones has many different Wi-Fi compatible models within it. Our GSC series, which is our facility access uh, portfolio has a number of Wi-Fi compatible devices. You see that uh, looks like a touchscreen tablet down there, which is actually basically a display or a, a station to run an entire intercom voice security door access network that is Wi-Fi compatible. We have numerous GVC series video conferencing devices that support Wi-Fi. Um, and I believe at the moment, all of our GXV series of video phones or executive grade phones all also have built-in Wi-Fi. And this, all the Wi-Fi here that I'm talking about with these endpoints, it's built in. It's not through a dongle. It's not through anything you need to expand or add. The functionality is built right in. So once again, uh, as I wrap up here, I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their schedule, especially at the end of the month, for probably many of you at the end of the quarter, 
um, and also on a Monday. So we really do appreciate you taking some time out. Um, and to thank you for being here today, um, all attendees are going to be entered in a drawing and be eligible to receive a free GWN series access point. Exclusions do apply. Again, not all will qualify. 888 VoIP will contact you uh, after the webinar, probably within the next day or two, if you are selected. Um, so yeah, to be to officially wrap us up, that is everything that I had planned here for today's webinar. Again, want to thank everybody for taking some time out of their schedule, busy time of month, Monday, all of that. Uh, so we're really appreciative that you spent some time or took some time out of your schedule to learn a little bit more about Grandstream and 888 VoIP. Um, you know, we've we been working with 88. Sorry? Sorry to interrupt. Sorry, we got a couple questions that we have to cover yet. Um, sure. Let's do all it. right. So let's go for it. Um, can we stream directly from Wi-Fi camera to Wi-Fi TV? I, he's probably the better person to answer that question, but I don't believe that any of, uh, you can stream, yes, it's not, I don't, our cameras are not Wi-Fi, uh, don't have Wi-Fi built into the cameras, but you can stream pretty much from anywhere to them. And Hugh can, I'm sure, give better answer than I just can. Yeah, you know, you you wouldn't be able to stream uh, through our devices because our, our cameras because they're not Wi-Fi. But you know, using our access points, you know, you, you can't have that functionality if uh, the Wi-Fi camera uh, or the Wi-Fi TV that you're using uh, supports uh, direct IP streaming. Awesome. Uh, I've got another one. Can you do multi-tenant in GWN Cloud as a service provider? Yep, absolutely. Um, the GWN Cloud is currently being used by many service providers around the world, uh, and it does give you the ability to create uh, what we call sub accounts uh, for the customers, uh, where they have access to only their particular network, and not just access to the network, but the service provider can then fine tune the controls and uh, what the customer has access uh, to edit uh, or, or modify, such as their S SSID name um, and et cetera. But uh, yeah, multi-tenant support is uh, currently built in to GDK Cloud with, uh, and I, I guess uh, we never really tested it, but a theoretical unlimited amount of uh, sub accounts. Awesome, okay. Um... And what's the distance on the point-to-point -point devices? Uh, depending on the model, we'll have a, a handful of models coming out uh, this year and early next year. Well, I guess it's a handful if you have seven fingers, uh, but uh, <laughs> the models range anywhere from two kilometers uh, up to 20 kilometers uh, based on the transmit power. Awesome. All right. What is what are the pros and cons of using GWN Cloud versus embedded management? Um, I guess the easiest one would be the number of access points that you're, you're able to manage. Uh, the embedded uh, manager, uh, depending on the model, uh, can range anywhere from 30 to 50 other access points, whereas the GWN Cloud, uh, you'll be able to manage up to a million access points per account. Um, another thing would be just the ease of uh, deployment. Now, if if you want to manage your embedded controller uh, remotely, you'll have to worry about the port forwarding and your firewalls and and all of the security uh, that's involved with that. Uh, with the GWN Cloud, anywhere that you have the internet access, you'll be able to access your account and uh, manage the access points. Okay. And I think the last question here was. Uh, sorry, two seconds. Uh, is the management platform free? Yep, the, uh, all three uh, options are, are completely free. Uh, the GWN Cloud uh, management platform, again, uh, I think I mentioned you're able to manage up to a million access points uh, per account, and that's completely free, and you can sign up at any time uh, via gwn.cloud. Uh, the GWN Manager software is also free. It's a piece of software that you can download from our website and install that on your own servers uh, where you have full control of all security aspects uh, of the deployment. Um, that option allows you to manage up to 3,000 access points. And of course, the embedded option um, 
you know, anywhere from 30 to 50, as mentioned, and that's accessed directly through the web interface of the access points. Wonderful. And I think that covers all my questions. If anyone else has any questions, feel free to throw them in the, um, the question area. If we're so good, we can wrap up. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. So this is Chris Braver from 888 VoIP. <clears throat> I just wanted to thank everyone for attending. If everyone, if anyone would like a quote or they have any further questions, if you look in the chat, you can reach us at sales team at 888voip.com. You can reach me directly at cbraver at 888voip.com. Just wanted to thank everyone. Great day. One more quick question if we're there. Will Grandstream have supply chain issues? Yeah, good question. Um, I guess I can cover this one, Phil, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know, on, on the, the Wi-Fi portfolio for Grandstream, we're, we're actually very, very lucky. Uh, we procured uh, a great number of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5 chipsets uh, at the early onset of the pandemic. So we should have you guys covered uh, for quite some time. Uh, one of the very few uh, companies out, manufacturers out there that, that still have stock of Wi-Fi 6 chipsets. So um, I think we should be good to go. I think uh, if anything, uh, we, we won't have supply chain issues, but more uh, logistic issues uh, depending on the port closures in China. But overall, I think we're in a very good position for the year. Yeah, I believe we also now have five different uh, places that we're able to manufacture products. So between all the chips and that, we should be in a pretty good place. Okay, that's the last one I've got. Awesome. From right, the grand Thank you, everybody. Yeah, yeah definitely right? want to thank everybody. So, Phil and Hugh, I look forward to seeing you guys at Channel Partners. Liz, thank you very much for getting this all together. And everyone in attendance, we really appreciate you attending. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Take care. See ya.